Hey everybody, what the F is going on? My name is Buddy Blackford and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about auto orient along a motion path. So pretty much auto orient, when you turn it on, it will rot have your uh, object here. It'll rotate it to what it thinks it should be to follow this motion path correctly. Now, I'll move this guy in the middle well, I'll just move, keep them in the beginning, actually. And the way to turn on Auto Orient is a uh, layer, transform, Auto Orient. You hit, can hit Control Alt, and that's an O right there. And now you want to change it to Orient Along Path. This box will always pop up. Hit OK and you can see now he is oriented differently uh, preview it real quick and then you can see that's how auto orient works now if I preview it you can see that the rotation values here aren't changing at all that's because rotation and auto orient are separate and you can still edit the rotation values while you're having auto orient on so if I just change this maybe by 90 degrees now he's facing that way a little bit more for the whole time he will be going that way so it looks like he's diving headfirst into the ground it's okay though because he's like a squishy guy now you can also keyframe the rotation and it'll work the same so uh, keyframe it here and I'll get to the last key I'll hit K to get to the next keyframe so it's right on and let's change him so he's up and down like this that's good enough and to a preview now you, you would have to go in and tweak the animation because now it's a little more it's pretty off so I'm just gonna end up deleting this you can add more rotation keyframes in to fix the problem. If your object is flipped and you don't want it that way, you can set the rotation to 180 and it'll flip it. And sometimes there is a problem with auto orient, it will do some goofy stuff at the end like twists or move around and things like that the way to fix that is to click on the point and now you can see that there is a dot that appears grab that and line it right up with your motion path and that'll help fix that there's a, another way is to just oop, I can click on them again another way is to just get rid of the handle by holding control, alt, oop, I just clicked off again. Control, alt, and clicking on it. It brings up the convert vertex tool. And sometimes you don't want the auto orient to be on the whole entire time for the layer. So, what you would do for that is uh, go to edit split layer and now the auto orient is only going to be on for this part of the layer and then on the top in the second layer that we split it off from the auto orient is now off now we can see it's doing the twisties because I have the rotation key framed turn that off turn that back to zero you can't you can't keyframe auto orient so this is the the best way to pretty much uh, get around that it's a workaround yeah and that's pretty much it there's not much else about the auto orient just play with the the, the tool and make sure to use your rotation keys remember the Auto Orient is in Layer Transform Auto Orient. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and are able to apply it to your next project. Have a good one.